How's it going YouTube? We got Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Saints slash playing in week four of the WPF up against Gentleman Thomas, coach of the Copenhagen Glades. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams range in speed door, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing and six Pokemon that I think uh, Gentleman Thomas is going to bring to our match. Uh, part of the game plan here is around Scarf. We have two Scarf Mons this week, Annihilate and Kilowattrel. Kilowattrel specifically <laughs> because I don't want to lose to Booster Energy. Uh, Iron Valiant, that Pokemon is mad scary, uh, so we just got to make sure that we can uh, have the speed and air slash to be able to KO that Mon uh, should it try to sweep us. And then the hazards are going to be pretty nice here. Um, we do have a pretty good spin blocker with um, Annihilate, so I'm kind of planning on using that to stop uh, Serena from getting rid of hazards. I think that's their only removal. There's so many Pokemon that lost Defog, <laughs> so I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Serena is their only removal. So we can use Annihilate and our Scarf for Annihilate to get in and you turn out and uh, keep hazards up. And I think Sword Stand Scarf Trap looks pretty solid here too. There's a little things I'm, I'm not quite sure how well it's going to be able to take on, but it might just like break and then maybe we can win with like Kilowatt or Late Game or something like that. So anyway, we'll see what six they decide to bring here in just a moment. All right, here we're in the match, and as you can see, the team uh, he has is already below. We exchanged teams before we got started, so uh, we know what we're up against. <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy, though. Uh, Iron Valley is definitely a scary threat from his team. Got to be careful about that. I do actually have Defiant and um, Competitive, so if the Cool Fish is Intimidate, that might actually help us quite a bit. And uh, yeah, those are probably the big things I'm worried about, um, and we'll see what what he decides to bring and what sets and whatnot. So, uh, I think my lead is, um, as I mentioned in the builder, is probably just gonna stay as Overquill. It just kind of, it's fairly good against what he has and like, I'm glad I'm AV actually, cause this might be a good Delphox uh, answer. Oh, actually, you know what? The biggest reason for this being the lead was because of Zorark, but he doesn't have the history in Zorark. So, um, do I want to keep this as the lead? Um, actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's go annihilate lead. Um, it probably means that I reveal that I'm scarf, but I don't know. That's probably not too big a deal. I'll be faster than everything that's here, um, except for like booster valiant, or if he's scarf. I guess he could be scarf on some other stuff. But yeah, I think this is probably all right. So anyway, good luck. Have fun over to uh, gentleman Thomas. Should be a good one. Let's see what he leads with. I'm not 100% sure what I would expect from a lead here. Who is that? Scizor. Um, I mean, that's fine. I could probably just U-turn on this. Um, and then I probably U-turn into... I mean, he's not going to close combat, so I can just U-turn into um, uh, my fire type. Heatran. There we go. That seems okay. Um, if he U-turns, he probably goes into Ting Lu. Which means I can go Obama Snow, and then from there I'm probably Leap Seeding, and then we'll see what happens. I don't necessarily know if I want to get Veil up um, right away, but it's definitely an option, and I could maybe start to break with Darkhawk, but I don't think it's really that worth it. But I think we just go into um, Heatran now, and then we'll turn around and see what he does. Okay, we should be able to keep our drop away. Aerial Ace. Huh. Do you, are you Scarf? Alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get our rocks up. But I was kinda wondering if this is Scarf. Uh because Aerial Acing, uh maybe expecting me to stay in. Uh could have been an option and not not knowing if I was Scarf. I think I probably take that hit still, but it definitely means that I can't come in on uh, this mon. We'll see. Decides see what he decides to do here. Yeah, switching makes sense. No U-turn, um, but I could be faster, so it makes sense not to do that. Ting Wu, yep, kind of as we expected. We'll get rocks up here. Um, I imagine that they will consider getting rocks up as well. Um, just because really early game like this, um, but there's no reason for me to stay in and attack this at all. I'm just going to swap out. And we'll try to get our chip through uh, hazards here. Um, and probably we'll see as well. 
and I think that'll probably do all right. I imagine that... Oh, spikes. Okay, yeah, that also makes sense. Spikes, I think, are pretty good against my team, so I'm not surprised to see that here. And I think I just... Um, I could pressure this right now, um, but it really just doesn't take very much damage, so I'm just going to leech seed here. Because he could also, like, hard pivot into... I don't know, Scizor. It could be... Delphox. Um, could even be Quillfish. Like, he actually has quite a few good reasons to this one, so not surprised to see all these months here. I actually thought this one looked fairly good against this team, but perfect. We get a little bit of damage there. We're going to leak sheet as well. Um, now I could try to call a pivot here, but I really just don't do much damage with this, so um, we'll just get a little strip damage here. Uh, this is our lost roost, which is really nice, but I think I just go back into to Heatran. I expect he... Um, hmm. Yeah, because he could still... Like, he actually could... Uh, oh, man, this is actually kind of a tough spot to be in. Because um, he could also CC. I mean, this is probably still my best option. Because he could go close combat, or he could go... Aerial Ace, or you could go U-Turn. Like, all of those are pretty solid here, so... Um, yeah, you just U-Turns. Yeah, that's fine. That wasn't great. <laughs> I, not, not that big a deal. Yeah, I think he just probably goes back into Ting Lu, gets another spike up. I think I might go, like, uh, Annihilate here. And try to catch some pivot momentum. Um... And then we'll kind of force a different option up from him. But having rocks up is kind of nice just because if the Thunderous is in boots, um, that'll be solid. It could, I mean, it's it's his Terra uh, Captain, so the Thunderous could be like, I don't know, it could tear out of something, so it might not be boots, which would be pretty great for us. But having Bolt Absorbed Mons with Terra is pretty awesome. Let's see what he decides to do here. Same one? Yeah, same one. Okay, that's what I thought. We'll also get to see if he's leftovers as well. Leftovers? Yeah, that makes sense. This mon just, like, doesn't die to any hits, so. Uh, I think we go... We go Annihilate this time. Let's just get a little bit of momentum. I can bluff a Scarf, or I can bluff a Close Combat, or, like, um, a Drain Punch, or... Um, or I could, like, uh, like, fake setting up. All of those are probably okay. I, I'm more likely to just U-turn. Um, and actually, he could totally call that. But if he does, then, um, I think i just go into Obama Snow. And potentially just try to look for some more chip damage on the Scizor. Let's see what he decides to do here. They swap. Okay, what are you swapping into? I have no idea which one that is, and I cannot say that name. <laughs> um, this one's kind of interesting. So, if they are Scarf... Oh, no, they're Boots. Yeah, yeah, they have to be Boots, right? So, how much damage do I do to this? Like, do you need to be afraid of me? Because uh, now that I know that this is Boots... Um, Earthquake doesn't quite KO. It's super close. How much damage do we take from a Psychic? We take a ton of damage from a Psychic. So I do need some chip damage on this before I uh, try to go into um, a threat against it. So I'm just going to U-turn here. Um, i probably go into Heatran if they stay in. Um, yeah, that's, that's good damage. So i probably just go Heatran and then... Um, yeah, Heatran's probably the best option. I mean, I could actually go Overquill. Mm hmm. Heatran isn't really that amazing against this team, though. So I kind of don't mind just giving him some more damage on this. Um, the Chopper Berry probably isn't going to matter very much, but... It's okay. I imagine it's like a Psychic. Um, maybe expecting me to stay in, but I just don't KO. 
Psychoc, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just don't KO. And I don't really want to take that much damage um, from this, so... I think now we just... Um, I mean, Earth Power does pretty well against everything and does hit this uh, for good damage. And he could also stay in, like, Focus Blast, so I'm just gonna, just gonna stay in. I'm gonna attack this. It would be really nice if Heatran had um, Toxic still. God, getting a Toxic on Ting Lu would be so nice here. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's not an option anymore. <laughs> so... We'll go ahead and swap. Yeah, and we do have the Tropical Berry for random focus blasts and stuff. I don't actually know if we're gonna take this at all, though. We do. Okay, so we're gonna be able to get rid of this threat. And then they'll probably just be able to KO with something. Um, the Tropical Berry was mainly for Iron Valiant, um, potentially, or, uh, what's the name of that Pokemon? Um, Thunderous could have uh, focus blast. Good. Scissor could have CC, so the top berry wasn't necessarily there for the Delphox, but we'll take it, I guess. Um, but I'm probably just going to sack this to basically whatever comes in. I wish I had Magma Storm. That would be kind of nice for Amon trying to set up on me. What is this? Uh, I mean, I'm going to Flash Cannon this. So, we'll see what you decide to do. There's no way, like... I don't think you can allow me to hit you, so you're probably just going to pick up the scale. And you are special. Okay, so we assumed that this would be a special mon. Um, we didn't see an item, so it's not booster energy, it's life orb. Okay. In that case, I think I go... Um... God, life orb does so much damage. Uh, let's, let's check if um, Overquill is okay against this. I think I should be alright. It could be mixed, right? But if it's Life Orb... Um, yeah, Life Orb, we actually take hits fairly well. So I'm just going to switch in here. And then I think we go... Um, I just don't think this month stays in. Like, I'm going to try to hit what I think is going to come in next. Which is probably going to be... Scizor? Probably Scizor, right? That seems like the most likely option. Um, if it's Scizor, what am I switching in? Maybe I'd just switch in Garchomp. Nah, I don't really want to do that. I could maybe just switch in uh, to the Watch Girl. It doesn't look like there's rocks here, so that's probably okay. Um, but I could also just Liquidation. I think that covers most stuff that it could be. Or Crunch. I don't know if I really want the Tinglu to come in. Now let's go and crunch. There's no way this stays in. I think that's just that's too wild of a play. Yeah. Um, so it's Ting probably Ting Lu. I would guess Ting Lu. Or Quillfish. Okay, that's all right too. And this is not uh, Intimidate Quillfish. Interesting. Helmet. Okay, that also makes sense. So I think we swap here for sure. What am I going into though? Um, I mean, I, oh, they are helmet, huh? Hmm. I could maybe go into Kilowatt Roll. I don't really need that much health on Kilowatt Roll, so this might be all right. But then I'm probably U-turning, and that's not really going to be that great of an option. Um, I could also go this, but, um, I mean, I am max defense, right? Yeah, I'm like max defense. Let's let's go let's go into Obama Stone. Kind of weird to bring this in um, on Quillfish, but I feel okay about it. So we'll get Snow up and going again, and they Thunder Wave. Man, <laughs> this is like three weeks in a row of Thunder Wave stuff. Ah, oh, I hope I don't get Parrot out of this game too. That would be so rough. Um. All right, what are we looking at here? So we've got rocks up, they've got spikes up. Um, we've got one Mon down, haven't seen the Thunderous. Um, hmm. Honestly, this is kind of tough. I think I go with... 
I'm just gonna go with Leech Seed. Oh, okay, they have Taunt. All right, that's that's honestly fine though. So this stops um, Veil from coming up too. So not that big, not that big deal. But I think here maybe I'll just go for Energy Ball then. Um, I could also swap. Does that make any sense to swap? I'll just also Energy Ball. That's just gonna hit this. Maybe I can get this chip down so that it's less of a threat to my physical offense. Probably seems all right. And then, hmm. I mean, I think Scissor comes in on this mod really easily, so it's probably Scissor coming in. So it makes sense for them to have taunted first. That's the Scissor, right? I think so, yeah. I could have maybe called that and gone for a switch on my own, but I think it's all right. Yeah, we get a little chip, a little chip damage. Um, not too amazing. I think I'll go um, Kilowattro, though. Um, because I don't think I'll take too much damage from it. I kind of want to keep my Overcoil a little bit healthier, um, to take on the, um, potential Thunderous, the potential Iron Valiant. So we could go, um, yeah, we, we can go Overcoil, I think. Or not Overcoil. Other one. Kilowattro. There we go. Also, it takes, uh, Spike Storm, which is kind of nice here, too. May you turn. Okay, so what do you go into? God, that's so much damage. I mean, I know Kilowattro isn't the bulkiest, but yikes, that was that hurt a bit. Like, I don't think that's bandit damage, right? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, that's not bandit damage. But that did that did not feel good. <laughs> was not uh, not glad to see that damage. So I think the scissors probably going to be in range of um, air slash pretty soon though. Not quite sure what they're gonna bring in now. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. This probably allows another um, set of hazards to go up. But I think I could go. How am I gonna pick this one? God, this one is so hard to deal with. Oh, wait, how much does Weather Ball do? I mean, not much, right? Not much. There's no way that Weather Ball does much. Like, it's a neat gimmick. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a neat gimmick, don't get me wrong, but, <laughs> like, even, let's see, I was, I was calculating, like, the most defensive it could be, but even just max HP, this Weather Ball does, like, 35%, which is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much, that, how little that does. Um, but we're going into Annihilate here. We're gonna take more spikes damage, but... This, um, ooh, does Ruination count as an attack against me? If it does, that might be kind of sweet. Because now we're at, pl we're at, a uh, 100 damage Rage Fist, which is awesome. But we also do, like, zero damage to this Pokemon. Very unfortunate. We're even going to U-Turn out. Um, I can see a lot of Mons coming in here. They could honestly legit just stay in. I have a hard time breaking this Pokemon. Yeah. It looks like they're keeping it alive. I, honestly, I'm not sure what for. Like, I have such a hard time breaking that one. Yeah, and more help route helmet ship. That makes sense. I think here. Yeah, poison point. Yeah, I kind of assumed that that was going to be the case since we did see the uh, intimidate. I might need to. Hmm. I know, it's going to be a little tough. I might need to go guard chop though. And Garchomp, this might be my chance to try to set up with Garchomp. Because um, we'll definitely KO this mod. So I could honestly just EQ. I almost highly like how that idea sounds. I don't really want to... Hmm. Yeah, I think this is fine. I'm just going to go into this. Let's go into EQ. There isn't really a great resist. Um, and I don't actually think that setting up is quite the right idea either. But we'll get some leftovers recovery, so we do reveal our item here. Not that big a deal, but um, I'm just going to EQ. If he decides to sack this, might, that thing might be kind of nice for me, just because it looks like this is the one that's, uh, like, um, checking a couple of our options. Um, between Overquill and... Uh, Annihilate. Getting the Poison Point on Annihilate is a little rough. I'd much rather have not um, had that, but it's what it is. Yeah, 
If it's Ting Lu, what am I gonna do if I, if I see Ting Lu? I mean, I could just hit it, right? Actually, if it's Ting Lu, I think I go Bomb of Snow. If, um, if it's Valiant, if it's Valiant, I think I'm swapping, actually. I don't really want to reveal my terror type yet. So get see who's that? Yeah. Okay. So see, this is kind of the tough option here. Is um, if I Terra, I'm tearing into poison, and if I Terra poison and pick up this KO, then I'm weak to Ting Lu, which is like that's kind of tough, just because Ting Lu is a little bit difficult for me to break in general. But, like, if I, if I die here, um, or if I tear here and attack, then um, I'm basically looking at my paralyzed Obama Snow as my way of beating Ting Lu, which, like, is not really that great. But, honestly, this might have to be the play. So I think I Terra, and I think I just Poison Jab. You scout it. What do you go into, Scizor? Savvy Mario. Ting Lu. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna reveal my Terra type here. Um, so I'll be weak to ground moves now, but I do still have um, a Bomb of Snow, so I'm kind of okay with this, I guess. And my check that I showed I showed before was um, Overquill, so it makes sense to go into Ting Lu if you're expecting the Overquill swap. So this is alright. So we'll go and Poison Jab. Again, not going to do very much damage here. Team is just like the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. And especially if we're playing at level uh, 100 like this, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the uh, yeah the difference between like playing at level 50 and level 100 is that level 100 Pokemon are just, um, they have more natural bulk. So it's a, it's a more defensive uh, setup than level 50. But is what it is. So we'll go and swap here. Um, it's going to be super hard for us to break Ting Lu with our Garchomp, but we have now revealed um, our Terra type, um, which not the greatest thing um, is what it is at this point, though. We're up two Mons, which is kind of cool, but yeah, Whirlwind. Okay, so what are you Whirlwinding me into? So I've seen Whirlwind, Ruination, Spikes. It's probably EP was the last move, right? But I can't stay in. Like, I cannot stay in and take this damage. I Like, I think I have to switch with this one again. Yeah, that's so rough, though. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I can't take an EQ here. Um, but now they've revealed Whirlwind, so I can't really set up on this either, which is fine. I'm just going to go back into Yeti. If he Whirlwinds me again, he Whirlwinds me again. Hopefully I go into something that's better against this. Like, if it's Kilowattril, then I'll U-turn at least. Yeah, another set of spikes. Yeah. Unfortunate. Um, I think here we... We probably just Leech Seed again, honestly. Probably just Leech Seed again. Uh, I could just Blizzard. How low is... is um... Yeah, I could just Blizzard, I guess. I feel like it's gonna be um, Scizor coming out. And Scizor, I wonder how low, cause Scizor's fairly low. But I don't think I do that much to Scizor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't do enough to Scizor. I mean, Blizzard does a fair amount, I guess, but... Um, I could also set up Veil, actually. I don't think that makes sense right now, though. I'll go in Blizzard. They stay in. Okay, so this might be a chance for me to actually get some, some solid damage on this. Yeah, that's that's some, that's some good damage. <gasps> we get the freeze? Oh, God. Freaking statuses, dude. So dumb. <laughs> like, Paralyze has messed me up in week two and week three. And if... Like, Freeze ends up coming back to, like, be a big part of this game. Like, that's just so rough. That's just so rough. And honestly, Paralyze could still be a huge problem for us, too. 
but now I leech seed. Like, there's no reason for me not to leech seed here. But yeah, that's so lame. I mean, this mod is super hard for me to break aside from Obama Snow, so I, I think it was probably a better idea for him to switch, but that um that doesn't justify having a freeze, you know? Like, you just don't want that at all. Get our leech seed. Okay, that's, that's honestly great. Um, he's just gonna U-turn, though. I 100% is gonna U-turn. There's no reason for me to stay in, though. Well, is there? I could Leech Seed again. Is that worthwhile? Hmm. Because, well, also he's super low, right? So he might actually just stay in. What's my play? Like, do I just want to go into Bane and essentially sack it here? Um, and get the free swap on the U-turn. Yeah, this one's not, not really doing a whole lot for me, actually. Because even Rage Fist, like, is resisted by Ting Lu. So I think this might actually be okay for me to just sack this here. And if he does stay in... Whatever, I guess. Then I go into... Guard Chomp, maybe, and pick up a KO. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go do this swap. This might not be a good idea, I guess. But I, I like I think I need to keep um, Obama Snow healthier. Um, yeah, and that's okay. So we'll get a we'll get switch initiative here, and I think that's probably worthwhile. I feel like getting switch initiative is worthwhile here. But now the scissors are super low, which is great for us. It's honestly amazing. Because, like, that mon will probably die to another blizzard plus hazards. Oh, that's the new one. Okay, you're not boots. Um. Hmm. See, this one's kind of tough. Like, I could go into my Spadef mon here. I could also go Garchomp. How much does Garchomp do to... Uh, this mon. What is this? Thunderous? And I am faster than it. So, like, that's obviously amazing, too. Oh, wait. I sped crept it in case it was creeping something. So, I might not actually be faster than it. Um, as Terra Poison, I'm going to do a lot of damage to it, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the play. Because, like, yeah. Like, I don't think they do enough damage to me. I think it's part of my thinking here. So I think I'm just going to go for Poison Jab. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for Poison Jab. Like, they could go Scizor, but that's probably not that big a deal. They can't really go Iron Valiant. Um, they can't really go Ting Lu, because I might actually consider setting up on Ting Lu now. I don't know the Terra type here, so like if they're Terra Steel or something like that, like that's, I mean, there's no way you're Terra Steel, right? But um, yeah, I don't know. If there's some kind of Terra type that like beats me for some reason, like that's super unfortunate, but there's not really a lot I can do. They're Terra Electric actually. Oh, okay. I mean, there was no reason for me to EQ, but yeah, being Terra Electric and they're faster. Ooh, okay. That Okos. Oh my god, what? Uh, that's probably game, honestly. How did that KO me? I mean, I had some chip damage on me, but... Okay, so if they're Terra Electric... Yikes. That's so bad. Um... I mean, I guess I go into this Mon. And I didn't actually speed creep uh, this. Uh, like I sped creep something, creeping something else. So they caught me on a speed creep for sure. But this might actually drop to this too. I probably should have checked this. But nothing else on my team really does well against this. So um, my play is probably just Barb Barrage. Yeah, probably just Barb Barrage. And hope that we do enough. Maybe I can get the poison on this and like ship it with a. Uh, 
Or they could miss. Okay, that's true. That move can miss. Fire barrage and uh, getting a poison would be awesome. Okay. Now, okay, so what's my play now? How low are they? They're not low enough for an aqua jet to. Oh, are they? I could probably aqua jet this. I mean, I could also. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I think we just aqua jet. But then Valiant is probably looking like it picks up the win. Maybe, actually. Maybe, 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 maybe. So I think we jet. Yeah, I think we jet. Oh. Okay. All right, that's fine. This might actually KO now. All right. Sweet. That's obviously good for us. Uh, they still have the option of taking um, rocks damage too. So wait, 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 hold up. This is actually good for us, right? What do you wait? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. That might have given us an in. Obviously, the the, the wild bolt storm missing helped us out too. But um, like a round of rocks might actually put them in range of uh, aqua jet now. Yeah. Hmm. I guess the Thunder is also going to have been Scarf here, too. I feel like Scarf Thunder is going to have made sense. I really wish I'd actually been um, uh, Volt Absorb. I mean, okay, this gives me free team, free uh, Abominus Switch, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and then probably... Well, I don't know what they do from here. I mean, you could also, like, I could see a world where they try to wake up and try to EQ. I could see a world where they uh, double out. I think both those things would make a lot of sense here. Let's see what they do. Yeah, see, like, this just gives us a free swap. So I think that now I set up Veil. Like, and we'll just get late game Veil to be able to take these hits a little bit easier. Um... Like, I go Veil here, and then I think I kind of Blizzard. Yeah. But getting late game Veil is actually super nice. They might stay in and try to wake up. Or not wake up. <laughs> Unfreeze. Um, yeah, I could see that. I could see that being the right choice. There's a lot of pressure on... Um, What's the Pokemon? Uh, my Overquill. So I need to be a little careful about how I'm using it. Like, I don't want to let it take too much spikes damage. Yeah, I don't want it to take too much spikes damage. They actually stay in. Okay, so we're going to get the... Um, see, this is like... This is really lame. <laughs> Mural, this is hella lame. Um, having to fight against uh, Freeze is just... Like, there's not really anything you can do, you know? So, like, we, we got the veil up for a while. I mean, I'm just gonna take take my damage, you know? Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for um, for blizzards, but it's not great. <laughs> or we can get paralyzed, right? This is how this is how this game should be, you know? This is how the game should be. Um, maybe I leech seed actually. I get Leech Seed. Leech Seed is probably better in case I do get parried again. Um, but this is super, super rough. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, status moves are so dumb. Alright, Leech Seed. Come on, let's do it. Let's either unfreeze or break through paralysis. Oh man. I mean, I don't know. There's nothing to commentate on here. Like, hopefully we un, or hopefully he gets unfrozen. Hopefully we don't have to deal with paralysis anymore. Like, I don't know. There's not much you can do. This is part of the game. Unfortunate, but part of the game. So we'll go and leech seed. 
Uh, I don't actually know what move they're going for. It's probably Ruination. Because they are going before us, so it's got to be like Ruination or Spikes. Probably Ruination though, right? Can only imagine what what his reaction is to how this game is going right now. I mean, aside from the, like the freeze and the paralysis, like this has been a fairly good game. It's been interesting at least. But I mean, I don't know what what choice you make here. Okay, cool. We do we get the blue seed now. Like, cause he doesn't want to bring in either Mon uh, to take all the extra damage, you know. Ah, and this, the the um, what you call it is gone now. So we don't have snow anymore, but we do still have our um, bail up for a little bit. I mean, I could just energy ball. Like, there isn't anything that resists it now, um, because he uh, switched out of being a flying type. So, energy ball schools here too. But we'll slowly be able to chip down this mod, which is great. And then after that, I don't really need a bomb of snow anymore. Um, Actually, as soon as this mod is gone, we're in a really good spot. Yeah, because this is the mod that's stopping Kilowattral Air Slash from just winning. See, so this is why I went Leech Seed. I could have tried to go for, like, um, Energy Balls or Blizzards, but the reason I went for Leech Seed here was for this, basically this scenario. Is if I get paralyzed, then this is going to be more for me than any other attack would. Now, he is stalling out the um, Veil. Exactly, yeah. So he is stalling out Veil. Um, actually, would it be make sense for me to swap? I don't think so. I don't think so. I can probably just go for Energy Ball again. Oh my gosh. What riveting gameplay. What riveting gameplay this is. I think he's just looking for a chance to swap in, though. Like, he's probably trying to sack this mod, honestly. <laughs> that would be my guess is he's trying to sack this Pokemon. <laughs> Because I don't think he needs it anymore. Well, I think he needs it, but maybe he doesn't think he needs it. Because I think he needs it for Kilowattril. Um, but he also might just go, all right, this Pokemon's frozen. It's not doing anything for me for me anymore. I might as well just let it go down um, and get a free swap. But if he, yeah, see, I don't know. I think I don't think he should have. Um, Sacked the Thunderous. And actually, letting me get that much damage on the Ting Lu is, is kind of good for me. Yeah, see? Well, that's that's deserved right there, you know? That's deserved. So, what's the play now? Now that this is at max HP, we might be able to do okay. Well, actually, we don't do that great against the, um, the other Mon. I think I just Energy Ball again. I mean... The, the world exists where, um, uh, okay, let me think here, let me think, let me think. I can't go Kilowattril. I could go Subboom. I could go Overquill. And honestly, I think that makes some sense. Yeah, let's, let's just go and do that. I think I just go Overquill, because I can actually keep this Mon and potentially take a hit from Ting Lu. No, Ting Lu. Um, Thunderous. This might die to some damage, but I always have um, the scarf on. Uh, yeah, I always have the scarf on uh, Kilowattril to pick up the KO. So I think I just jet. Let's just go and take a little bit of damage here before we go down. Um, and if he swaps, obviously that's amazing for me. There's no reason for him to swap here. Yeah, he should just let me take this damage and then um, pick up his KO. And we get some more chip damage here, which is awesome. I just go into um, our Kilowattro now, and I just, um, I just Air Slash. And Air Slash probably will be enough for us to pick up the win here. Um, assuming no other crazy shenanigans um, happening in this game, which, based on the shenanigans that have happened in this game, it's very possible. <laughs> it's very possible. We've got freezes, we've got back-to-back -back paralysis, we've got... I don't know. It's been a game, man. It's been a game. Cool, we'll pick up our KO here. Awesome. Uh, and honestly, I think at this point, we're probably... We're probably locked. Because uh, I, I imagine even... Because if Ting Lu 
Yeah, Ting Lu's only got Ruination, right? Yeah, Ting Lu's only got Ruination. So the only downside is if this Thunderous ends up having more health than I thought it did. Ooh. I mean, that's low enough that I just gotta go for it, I think. Yeah, it's low enough that I just gotta go for it. I don't know how much damage this is gonna do. Okay, cool. We do pick up the KO there. I was a little concerned that, like, I don't know, resisted hit, like, Kilowattro doesn't do that much damage. Like, there was a chance that it just didn't didn't work out for us. But I think, um, if I were to look at any play where I thought they misplayed, I think it was um, the turn where they swapped out the Thunderous. I think they just should have left it in. Um, because by leaving the Thunderous in, or, or by swapping it out, it meant they took another set of rocks, and um, and it put them in range of basically everything else. But Scarf Kilowatt will ended up being pretty good here. I'm glad I had it. Um, they did obviously had Life Orb uh, Iron Valiant instead of uh, Booster Energy, but I think Booster Energy could have been the could have been an option for them, and I had to bring it just in case. So, anyway, good game over to General Autonomous. The Real unfortunate on those turns for like the paralysis and the um, the freeze. The freeze actually was probably the worst thing that could have happened this game because I would have said that everything happening up until that point was like was like good Pokemon gameplay, interesting to watch, a lot of decisions to make, um, and then uh, and then that freeze kind of just negated things. You know, like it, it just meant that my Obama Snow was super free um, to just get Veil up and Leech Seed and all that kind of stuff and um, like if we could have played that game without the freeze and without the paralysis like I think it would have been an interesting game um, but as it is like the ending just like leaves a bad taste in your mouth you know like um, that game wasn't as exciting or wasn't as interesting as it could have been um, and I don't know like it's hard to say who would have won it um, if all those things hadn't happened but you know is what it is at this point um, I think I've got two freezes with a bomb of snow, and both of them were like very good for me. <laughs> like, uh, so it's really rough to see that kind of thing happen. But anyway, if you'd like to see some more of our content, whether it is VDC or singles draft league, um, I'll uh, st definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.